find the midpoint of a line segment. The goal of this tutorial is to be able to answer, is for you to be able to answer questions like the one on the screen right here. What are the coordinates of the midpoint of a segment whose endpoints are 2, 1, and 6, 3? Before we try to answer a question like this, let's try to um, take a step back and look at something that will help you make sense of the, the final formula we're going to end up using. Let's find the line in the middle of the number 1 and the number 5. What number is exactly in the middle? And if, you, um, if you actually kind of wrote this out on the number line and you had 5 here, 1 there, of course you would have 2, 3, 4, and I mean, this is simple enough that you probably know that the, the number that we want is 3. Hmm. So that was kind of obvious. Let's look at one more example and then try to come up with a pattern that we can use in our, our general formula for midpoint. Let's try to find the number that is exactly in the middle of 3 and 7. Again, you might you know intuitively know what that number is but in case you don't let's um let's graph it out here's three here's seven you know we have six we have four four six and in the middle we have five right the middle number there is five so let's look at um what we did to get these middle numbers you know maybe you just sort of knew it because it's it was kind of obvious we're using easy numbers but the general formula that will always work to find a number in the middle of two other numbers is to take their average. In other words, 1 plus 5 or 6 divided by 2, which is 3. 3 plus 7 divided by 2 or 10 divided by 2, which is, uh, which is what we have here, the number 5. This is what we're going to use for midpoint, basically. If we want to find the number in between any two numbers, just to repeat, if you want to find the number in the middle of any two numbers, you just add them and divide by two. Take their average. Enter the midpoint. The way that we're going to find some point, right? we want some point here that is directly in the middle of 2, 1, 6, 3, we're going to do the same thing. But we're just going to, we're going to think about the x alone, the 2 and the 6. Let's think about what number is um, directly in the middle of 2 and 6. And you probably know, again, these are pretty easy numbers, that it's the number 4. Right? Our midpoint is going to be 4, comma, Let's think about how we're the y's. We're going between one and three. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that it's the number two, right? You can see um, it's right here, and this looks like it's in the middle, and it really is. What you can do, and in terms of a general formula, is apply what we just talked about to find the x value. Just add the x's to plus 6 and divide them by 2. So the x is really 8 over 2 or 4, right? That's what we found. And the y's, 1 plus 3 divided by 2 or 4 divided by 2 is this. So that's, uh, that's how you find midpoint. Let's, let's try another problem or two just to recap. We're just to find the midpoint of any two endpoints. You just think about their x's and y's individually. 2 plus 6 for the x divided by 2 gives you the 4. And 1 plus 8 divided by, uh, sorry, 1 plus 3 divided by 2, which is 2, gives you uh, the y value. <coughs> All right, let's try one more example. Let's try this problem on the screen right now. Find the midpoint of a segment whose endpoints are 3, 1, and negative 1, 5. Just use our formula. Do the um, do the x's individually, right? And the reason I chose these coordinates is to show you that it also works if you have negative numbers. For instance, let's look at the x. 
3 plus negative 1 over 2, this is just the x value, is going to be 2 over 2 or 1. So our x is a 1. And now let's find the y. 1 plus 5 over 2 is 6 over 2, which is 3. Okay, so it's a pretty simple formula. Do the um, add the x's divided by two, add the y's divided by two, and it works just as well for negative numbers. Okay, that's it for a quick introduction to how to calculate the midpoint of a segment. On the website, there's um, some more resources, free graph paper, as well as a free downloadable worksheet. Enjoy.